Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how you can import a converted point cloud into 3D Studio Max. In a previous video, I showed you how you could take a PTS file or E57 file and convert it into the Terra format, that's T-E-R-A. But once that's done, you can import it directly into 3D Studio Max. So let's go ahead and get that done really quickly here. Uh, what you're going to need to do is uh, obviously have 3D Studio Max open. I have 3DS Max 2020, although it will work back a couple of few versions. So first thing is on the uh, Create tab here, I'm in the uh, uh, Geometry, and then on the drop down where it says Standard Primitives, I'm going to go to Cloud Max. And I'm going to bring this up and you'll see that I've got this little button that says clouds to max. I'm going to hit that. And if I click in anywhere on the, uh, on the ground plane here, you'll see that I get this little object, but it's empty. There's nothing there. So I have to load the actual point cloud that's done over here with the files. And I've got a bunch here. I'm going to choose this one here, the uh, UTM crime house. And that will have brought it in here in just a second. Okay, and let's see, there it is, it's loaded up. And if I go to my menu over here, I can select it. I'm going to go to the Modify tab just to make sure. And you see that I've got 167.56 million points. So there's plenty of points here. I'm just going to rotate around with my 3D mouse. Actually, what I'll do is let me maximize the window here so you can see this a little bit clearer. But you can see it's very fluid. I'm just rotating around, no problem. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that this particular point cloud is way off of the ground plane. And of course, I can adjust its position uh, by hitting the W key and I can transform this. So if I wanted to get this down to uh, 0, 0, 0, I can do that. But you can see that the pivot point for this particular point cloud is offset quite a bit. But we can adjust that and we can make a quick adjustment here. So what we're going to do is go to the Links tab, go to Effect Pivot. And so now I have control over where this pivot is relative to the point cloud. So a short one quick way is to go center to object. So it's now centered uh, to the point cloud here and I'll uh, zoom in here. So you see it's right there. So I can take this now and I can just slide it down to the base of the point cloud or you can move it anywhere you want. Really, I'm going to uncheck that, go back here and you'll see now that my Z offset is about 93 and I'm going to hit zero and my point cloud has just dropped down to the base and if I go to the perspective view and zoom in there we go and you'll see that it's back down to the ground and this is really just the basics of bringing in the point cloud and you can bring in multiple point clouds so if you had a point cloud of a person or a car or whatever you can overlay these all on top of each other it is treated like a regular object in 3d studio max so if i wanted to uh, rename this or whatever i could do that i could call this the uh, uh this is the crime house at the university of toronto and there you have it that's pretty much the basics of bringing a point cloud into 3d studio max using cloud max